What's up, guys? It's Drew with Problem Monsters, and I'm here with my boy. <laughs> Woo! Joey about to make 22. Your local, local reseller. Mail, mail. Or, yeah, mailman. Mailman or reseller. Mailman or reseller. Mailman or reseller. I'm trying to get the reseller in, but sometimes I say mailman, but you know. <laughs> so, Joey came down to hang out with us uh, for the weekend, and we went and saw Spider Man. And so, we're wearing the same shirt. We're having fun. We just got home from church. And so, now I wanted to show you guys a flea market and one stop thrift store haul that I got yesterday. Uh, and my GoPro was messing up, so I didn't get any footage at the flea market. So I figured today what I would do is I would show you guys what I found in a haul, and we'd play a game called Pick or Pass. Pick or Pass! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what I got, I'm gonna show it to Joey, and then I'm going to ask him if it's something he would have picked or if he would have passed at the thrift store or the flea market. Because I got to the flea market at like 12 noon, and that's usually like when a lot of vendors are packing up, and I still found some crazy stuff. So we're gonna switch sides so I can grab this. Okay. All right. First item of the day is this po vintage Polo Ralph Lauren zip up fleece. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. I think this one was $11.99, but it's 50% off. Okay. So it's six bucks. Yeah, all day. So all day. I all day I would pick this up. I always look for this type right here where it says polo, like with this like tag right here. Always pick that up, but wow, look at this. I've actually never seen one like this before. How much do you think you can get for this? So I listed it for $69.99 on eBay, but then someone on Instagram reached out to me and said that they sold the exact same one on Grailed for $85. Bucks. Yo, so, that's a steely. So I would have picked that up for sure. All right, next up, this one is something that I feel like a lot of people pass up on, but I love selling these. This is a vintage IZOD, just like color block men's striped polo. Okay. Um, the good brands to look for that I like to sell are like Tommy Hilfiger, Polo, Ralph Lauren, Izod, Lacoste that have these color blocking. They usually sell pretty quickly for me around the $25 range um, and I paid four bucks for this. Okay. So I personally, I don't think I would have picked this up only because I don't know. I've, I've never seen this tag before. I might have looked at it and said, oh, okay, whatever. But usually Izod, I kind of like pass it, pass on. Um, what about you guys? If you saw that tag... Oh, put it up close. Let's see. It's I've not never. Even, it's not even so much the tag for me. It's just the color blocking on it. Is right. like it's different. The vintage, the the vintage kids like really like this color blocking stuff. It was size XL, good size, no stains. That is a good so, size. So, pick I would have passed. Pass. I would have passed. Okay, me okay. personally. All right, I know this is gonna be a pick for Joey. At least I think it is. Oh. Easily Jim Shark shirt all day. This was this was a dollar ninety nine, fifty percent off, ninety nine cents. Even if you sold this for twenty bucks, that's gonna sell all day long. Clean, easy sale, lightweight, first class package. It's probably like Joey said, twenty bucks, easy pick. Okay, next this one was kind of interesting. This was also a dollar ninety nine, so I decided to pick it up. It's on a vintage Universal Studios tag right there, oh. and then on the back it says Halloween Horror Nights two thousand and three. And it says feeling lucky 13, which I think is like the Freddy vs. Jason or something. I don't know. I don't like the horror stuff um, too much. I don't follow it. But since it was kind of vintage from 2003, it was only 99 cents. It's a very small girl size though. Yeah, that is So uh, for 99 cents, would you have picked or passed? I think I would have picked that up for 99 cents. If it was for like five bucks, maybe not. Um, but if, since it was 99 cents, I would have picked, I would have picked that. I agree. All right, next up, this is on a cut tag, so this might make the difference, but it's like a size XL, 2XL. This is a band tee, Five Finger Death Punch. Mm -hmm. uh, very popular band. I've listened to them multiple times before, <laughs> and uh, I can't play the music because I'll get copyright strike, but uh, this is the um, Five Finger Death Punch band right here with a nice big graphic on the shirt. Good size, clean, and I paid two bucks for this. Nice, I, I would have picked that up. I don't know like your genre of music. I don't listen to it. I only listen to it with him. But if I saw some big graphic like this, I would have definitely looked that up and uh, probably would have picked this up, honestly. But I don't know what I don't know what that band yeah. is. So the, I don't really know the comps. This one I didn't look up just because I'm familiar with the band, and uh, so it had a paper tag that was cut. So I knew it had to be at least a little bit older um, from from them. Nothing on the back. But yeah, for two bucks, I decided to pick it up. Next up, we got some champion sweats this will be an okay. interesting one okay size large not super vintage um or anything little champion logo on the side right here i feel like this is probably like a 15 20 sale nothing crazy i paid um i think three dollars or four dollars for these okay i probably would have passed i don't know um 
I feel like not not that it's it says champion on the inside, but I, I usually don't pick up champion, not just because I, I don't know, but uh, it's an, it looks like an older tag. You said it's not too vintage, but I think I would have passed. What do you guys think? <laughs> Next up, the denim section, baby. Woo! Got a pair of, I know Joey's gonna say pick yeah. both of these. Vintage, guess, made in the USA, green tag, uh, jeans. These are a men's 34-32, wow. awesome size. Uh, great condition, nice blue. I really like that. This is something I would, I wouldn't even look up comps. I yeah. know that this is, and I look up comps on everything. That is a beaut, and the tag still on there with the size, and it's men's. Woo! Yeah. All these day, were man. these were three bucks. That probably is like what 50, 60, maybe even probably, 70 probably, bucks. Probably 59.99. That's that's all day easy. And then of course we also got a pair Miss of Miss Me's. Me's. You can't go wrong with Miss Me jeans. The market is going down a little bit. Like I've seen them go from like 49 and 59 to like the 30 39, to 39. 30 to 39. I yeah. Say. So if you're if you're getting jeans for you know cheap three, six, even eight bucks. I think they're worth the pickup still, but if you're paying like 12, 15, 19.99, maybe two years ago I would have paid twenty dollars for Miss Me's because I could flip them into 50, 60. But the market is slowly going down on them. But easy pick for me, yeah, right? And for you? Picked. Yeah, I would have picked. I'm moving on to some of the flea market stuff. These were all found at that thrift store. Now the flea market. I got this vintage LL Bean. I love LL Bean. So look at that. Uh, this vintage is LL Bean. This is thick. This is a really thick nice. Boy. Thick boy. It's got the um, packable hood and I don't even think it's ever been taken out because I unzipped the packable hood and you can see it's still like perfectly folded in wow, there. Okay. So this I would call this almost dead stock then. No flaws. Really nice. It's like a puffer jacket. LL Bean embroidered right here. But I got this in a bundle at the flea market. And so the I basically paid 10 bucks for this. Dude, that's a cop all day. I would pick this up easy i think this is a 50 day. 60 dollar jacket all, all day. day especially in the time it's winter time people are about to go skiing in january february and march that's a cop all day all right we're gonna oh i got one more clothing piece this is obviously a cop i'm not even oh, gonna have to ask I, you you don't even have to tell but me. this was at the thrift store <laughs> forgot i even had it but i listed it already patagonia cinchilla full zip vest men's xxl probably Perfect the easiest size. that's easiest a good size. cop of the day this was this was three dollars and fifty cents it was $7.99 and then half off $7.99? Yeah, $7.99, like so four bucks. And just excellent condition. That's a $60, $50, $60 vest right there. Keep a, keep an eye out for the bigger sizes too because that will probably sell really, really good for maybe even a higher price than what it's already listed for, like for a size large or extra large. So that's an yeah. XXL, so keep your yeah. eye out for that. All right, one of my first pickups at the flea market was these two Harley Davidson hats right here. I got them at the same booth. This one's like a women's, um, like, it's like a woman's. like a painter's hat style. It's got a little pocket there. Uh, and then this is more just like a men's strap back with the little logo on the side. Um, I love anything Harley Davidson. So when I find it in good condition, I pick it up. Black hats always sell well. And I paid two bucks a piece for these. All day. I'm a hat guy myself. I know he is as well. Um, well, not wearing them, not selling them. I usually, <laughs> I sell hats all the time, but that's a, that's a pick for me for both easy 15 20 dollar sale right there that's my lunch money that's what i call it all right so i got quite a bit of shoes from the flea market even though i showed up late i'm gonna go through these super quick and uh we'll just do like pick or pass real quick okay. if you pick them up so for the shoes my average buy cost was right around 10 bucks a pair which is really good and um so i'm gonna show you guys the shoes i'm gonna show joey the shoes and you can decide for yourself as you're watching and joey can let me know brooks beast 14s, okay. uh, not size 14. These are the Brooks Beast 14 model. So it's a newer version of the Brooks Beast. I think it, well, I think they go up to like 20 right now. Brooks Beast 20 is the newest. You can see the tread. It's still got decent tread on them. A little bit worn, a tiny, tiny thread flaw, I guess you could say on the top there, but they have the original insoles, which is big for Brooks Beast. Yeah, um, that's a pick all day for me. 10 bucks a piece for these shoes. Uh, that's an easy what? 35 40 no this is this is more 50 60 bucks all oh, right I, I didn't know that brooks the last pair of brooks beast that i had were brand new brooks beast 20s i sold for 130 dollars so these brooks beast only because the condition's a little worn on the bottom but i'm still thinking 60 bucks all day okay this will be an interesting one puma ducatis i found these at a booth they wanted 10 bucks for them i tried to negotiate down they wouldn't take it however there are, I'll show the camera too. Okay. There are some scuffs on the inside, um, like from someone who was like riding their motorcycle probably. 
and like he was using the foot peg or something. That's right. what my assumption is. I think so too. Uh, but really good tread on the bottom, clean overall, a little dirty on the back. But again, 10 bucks. I looked up Puma Ducati and I couldn't find this exact shoe, but I know the Puma Ferraris sell really well and I've sold them before. Uh, so I decided to take a chance on these and pick these up. I would pick them up with the, because it says Ducati on the side. If it was just regular Pumas, I'd probably say no. But since that Ducati's on the side, that's a good uh, motorcycle brand. I would pick those up. If, if these were any more expensive at the flea market yeah, because I, of the yeah. flaws, I probably would have left them. Like 15 bucks, I, I would have passed. But I'm excited to see what you list them for and if they sell quick or, you know, or whatever. Maybe it's a rare pair of shoes. You never know. All right. Easy cop. If you say no to these, you're you gotta, sleeping. You're sleeping. <laughs> okay. Brooks Ghost 13s, women's shoes, mint. Like, look at this. Yeah, that's beautiful. This is mint. Oh, my God. Ca -ca 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 crispy. Nothing. No flaws. This is an easy $49.99 sale all day. So if you can't turn 10 bucks into 50 bucks... There's you something know. wrong with you. <laughs> I don't even have to ask. <laughs> All right, next up, Woo! one of my favorite pickups of the day. Those are nice. These are Nike Foam Posit Dr. Dooms. Dr. Doom. Now, there are some conditions, though, which is why I'm curious to know if you'd pick or pass. Also, I'm going to say what I paid for these because this made my buy cost go up a little bit higher for everything because I paid up for these. So these Dr. Dooms, there's a little bit of scuffing on the toe box right there, as you can see. And they're missing the insoles. Okay. There's no original insoles. And then the bottoms, there is wear on the bottom. However, when I looked up comps on these, new are selling for like two to 400. Wow. Used over 100 all day. So the lady wanted 40 bucks for these. And she would not come down in price. Really? But considering if you sell shoes on eBay for over $100, you don't pay fees. I decided to pay the hundred bucks for, or the forty bucks for these, and I already listed them for one thirty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. so, so think about that, guys. Over a hundred dollars for athletic shoes, you don't pay fees. So that's a cop. That's a cop all day, even with the condition that it's in, no insoles or that little scuff on the bottom and on the top right here. Yeah. That's a pick all day. What do you guys think about those? If, like, if they had the original insoles and there wasn't the scuffs on the toe box. I'd list these for $199. So I think that even at $40, that's pretty steep for me for shoe prices. But with those comps, I still picked it up and I'll show you why real quick. I got these foam posits and it's the same model, but a different colorway. Uh, I got these white ones with dealing with Dalton last week at the flea market. And I just sold these this morning for $143 on Poshmark. What? So these, now these have the original insoles, but this model's not as popular as the Dr. Dooms. So considering that I had just sold these, that was an easy pickup for me all day. That's awesome. I would pass. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's another one. Um, I made a small mistake on these, so it'll be interesting to see if you picked or passed. These are Patagonia boots or hiking shoes. Overall good condition. Um, these have the Vibram bottoms and they are the coriander cork model. However, I didn't catch it quick enough when I was looking. There is a small tear okay. on the back ankle. I don't know if you guys, wow. Whoop. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. It doesn't like go all the way through the fabric. It's like the first layer, but there are some small tears on the back. Um, I paid 10 bucks for these. So Patagonia shoes for me for that price is still a pick. Um, I listed these, or I'm going to list them for like 69 to 79 range. Okay. But with the tears, usually I'm pretty disciplined with this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, if I saw the tear before I bought them, I, it may have changed my mind. Mm -hmm. So if you had seen these with the tear, right. you picked your pass. I personally, I've never even seen Patagonia shoes, so I'd have been like really excited. I probably would have missed that as well because I saw like the Patagonia. Um, even with the condition that it's in, you're selling that sales for like 70 to 60. Even if you sold them for 40 bucks, I think that's a cop. If you're paying 10 bucks, that's easy all day. Sorry, Renzi. <laughs> I paid less than 10 bucks for both of these. I paid five bucks for these and I paid, I think eight bucks for these. Both of them are Alakai brand. If you're not familiar with Alakai. Remember that, remember that uh, hook, logo. Yeah, it's like a little, almost looks like a fishing hook in a sense. These are both lo men's loafers in really good condition. Uh, this pair sells for about 30 bucks and this pair sells for about 50 to 70 depending on condition. Wow. So these look pretty um, good too. Yeah, they're both in good shape. 
again, $5 and $8, but my average buy cost was about 10. So even at 10 to 30, this is probably the lowest flip of the weekend for me, but still cops for me all day. That's, that's a pick all sing all day, all day, every day. <laughs> all, all Akai has a really great sell through rate. So it's, it's definitely a pick. Here's one that you may or may not have picked up. These are New Balance Absorbs. These are the 680s. And uh, overall good condition, fairly decent tread. Uh, but I mean, it's just a basic New Balance running shoe. So even though it's in good condition, it also has um, like this on the, on yeah, the shoelace. Yeah, some, some but, fraying on the laces. Um, the colorway is really cool. That's what would I would pick these up because of the colorway. For me, I always kind of like look up the like the whatever what number it is. Usually there's a number like 680. What did you say? 680. Yeah, yeah, 680. Always look that up first because some New Balances don't sell as well. Uh, that's what I do is always look up comps. But the colorway <laughs> might be different with the 680s so i think i would pick it up here's one that i'm interested to see okay i picked up these air max 90s i think these are 90s um i don't know the models of nikes too well but these are air max 90s and these were um 24.99 but they were 50 percent off these were one of the pairs of shoes i got at the thrift store from that thrift haul however they're really dirty um now if you guys saw one of my recent videos during vlogmas i did a shoe cleaning video and it came out crispy they like, came out crispy shoes. so i know i can get these to look mint and uh they will sell easily for over a hundred dollars when they come out crispy yeah. however you would have to put in a lot of work in to get these to sell for that price there's right. some stuff on the bottom you got to scrape off you got to pull the laces out you got to soak them in oxyclean you got to scrub them and so well, sometimes for... that's what it takes to you know get those sales i know drew my boy he puts in the work and he gets every penny for, for those shoes or anything. So I, just I give on, major props to him. Yeah, it just depends on what your time is worth. For me, cleaning shoes is worth it. To turn 12 into over 100 would be worth it. But I know a lot of resellers would not think that this time is worth it. You know, it would take me probably 30 minutes to really clean these shoes, maybe 30 minutes at most. And then soaking them in OxyClean, that is an overnight thing. So between taking out the laces, putting in the laces, you know scrubbing them days, you know? let's call it 30 minutes of actual work though to sell these to flip these for 12 to 100 dollars. i would buy them but in this condition how dirty they are would you still pick or would you i would pass? still pick i would really i'd pick those up yeah okay well maybe i'll give these to you and you have to do a shoe cleaning video <laughs> before <laughs> let's do it <laughs> this is one of my favorite pairs of nikes to sell just because i love the colors nike torch fours they are a little dirty in the back. The air bubble's a little foggy, but it's not popped. Um, and the tread is a little bit worn. These ones were $7.50. I'm sorry, $7.50. So for that price, I can sell Torch 4s for $39.99. But there is a little bit of wear. They're, they are a little bit used. So I know that makes a big uh, effect in how long it may take to sell. So I may not get $39.99 for these. I may only get like $29.99 based on the condition. So pick or pass um depending on the comps because like you know me i'm a comps guy i don't even he probably never looked up the comps because he knows that's like his one of his favorite uh shoes to pick up me i would look up comps if it was selling for around 29 to 20 you know 20 to 29 bucks and i'm, if I'm getting it for 750 i think i would pass honestly personally but it's his favorite one of his favorite shoes to pick up it's kind of like you just know, the colorways on the torch four right are and really the colorway nice, yeah so. the colorway is awesome too so i think i would pass depending on the comps we got some air max 97s Shouldn't really have to say anything about these. These were $9.99, half off at the thrift store. Jeez. Five bucks. Five bucks, that's a cop. <laughs> these are easily up. 50, 60 bucks, no questions asked. They yeah. are youth size, youth size four and a half, which is a women's size six, uh, but still easy cop all day. Yep. Another one of my favorite models of Nikes to sell. These are the Nike Free Runs. They're super lightweight. Uh, these are in like excellent condition. I obviously put some marker over the price tag because this thrift store writes the prices on the bottom so that people can't swap price tags. What do you know? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Resellers are always wondering how to get this off or why you have to do this. It's I because of my it. last video, yeah. I was ranting about a guy who was taught, who was being proud of price swapping. And this is exactly why thrift stores are doing that so that you can't price tag swap. So, but Nike free runs, $60 all day for me, 50, 60 bucks. And these were, uh, I think $10. There you go. I would pick those up. I love those shoes and they're probably my size too. They are, they're size 13. <laughs> they look like my size. Here you go, buddy. No, you gotta sell. <laughs> this will be interesting. I like that. Uh, these are Nike Free Run 5.0s, or 4.0s, I'm sorry, pink colorway. But what caught my eye on these is they say Livestrong on them. 
Uh, and I've sold Livestrong, Nike, free runs, free fly knits, all that kind of stuff before. Good condition on the bottom, good tread. These were $7.50. I feel like it's probably, without even looking up the comps, a $30 to $35 sale at minimum. Mm -hmm. uh, so I decided to pick these up. Yeah, I like the Livestrong um, little thing on the top. I feel like that adds just a little bit more value to it. Um, if they were regular, I think I would pass just to seeing on the comps and stuff. Yeah. But with I the Livestrong, and it has like the yellow like laces too with the pink, I yeah. think I'd pick those up. Yeah, I agree. If these didn't have Livestrong and they were just like the pink like this, I'd probably pass because there is some like small paint, little scuffing, paint but, fading and stuff like that. People are looking so, for that Livestrong for right. sure. Like if they follow that. A cyclist, you know, a yeah. runner, something yeah. like that. Oh, okay. We got some Jordans. Okay, I paid up for these. Uh, well, I didn't pay up, but I paid 20 bucks for these at the flea market. And forgive me for not knowing my Jordans. I think they're 13s or retro 11s or something like that. Bread bread jordan retro somethings anyway 20 bucks for these there is some wear on the bottom they're not in the best condition a little bit of heel drag somebody balled um, in their shoes. somebody was literally <laughs> basketballing in these hold this one there is uh some scuff on this leather toe box but i have some leather polish i'm going to clean it up and fix that and the comps on these were well over a hundred dollars in used condition so I feel like if I can clean that up, I can still pull 100 out of these to turn 20 into 100, uh, even though my average buy cost was lower. And someone, I think Josh, Harry Tornado, told us about like the little, this bubble right here. If you look in the light, I don't know if it's going to shine in this video, but it will show that 23 in a reflective uh, piece right there. Yeah. I think Josh showed us that, but I think that kind of tells you that these are real um, yeah. if you're trying to figure that out too. Yeah, definitely make sure that when you're buying Jordans, especially if you're paying up, you legit check them. If you're unfamiliar, you can yeah. look up the tag number, but you can also use the Check Check app, which Josh, Harry Tornado, has a, a coupon code for, I think, a free first uh, check. Shout out, so, Josh. Harry so, Tornado! Yeah, make sure you guys are checking Jordans. You can check the Jumpman. You can check all sorts of different stuff. Uh, but for 20 bucks, I decided to pick these up. All right, last item here was these Nike Free Run Fly Nets. I really don't even have anything to say about these. This is an all day $40 to $50 sale. These will ship first class. I will bubble wrap these and put these in a poly mailer because you can squish them, you can bend them, you can fold them, you can hug them. <laughs> uh, but these are an easy sale for me. These were $5 at the thrift store, $9.99 half off. And uh, they have the original insoles, the tag is in there, no rips or tears, and uh, still decent tread on the bottom. So for five bucks, this is an all day pickup for me. Guys, fly nets fly off the shelves on your eBay stores. Literally. Make, sure you're, make sure you're picking that up and making making sure that they're in good condition too. Even if they're in bad condition, I feel like they'll still sell for like 20, 30 bucks. Yeah. Um, but awesome, fly knits are good. So, I mean, at least it goes, it's good to know that like most of the stuff I'm picking up, other resellers would pick up too. Yeah. I mean, I'm at the point now that a lot of the shoes that I buy, I don't have to look up comps. Like if I'm finding Air Max 97s for seven bucks, I don't have to look them up. I know that they're gonna sell as long as they're real. So most of this was picked up without having to look up comps because I feel comfortable in that. So knowing that Joey like looks up comps on a lot of stuff still because he's just being a little more diligent with his picks that he would still have picked up most of the stuff I got. That's a, that's a good feeling for me knowing yeah. that I'm picking good stuff. And it's cool that you can, you know, be a reseller and like him and really know your, like know these items and know that these will turn and sell fast. Like, like Drew said, I look up comps on everything. And I, even if I know that like those guest jeans, like I know I'll pick those up, but I'll still look them up just to see what I can price them at and what their price range is at. Yeah. Um, I'm just very particular in that because the numbers are key. Yeah. Shout out Hustle and Hooks. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and again, if you guys are newer resellers and you're watching this or you're trying to learn new brands, products, things to sell, do your due diligence and look everything up. Yep. Don't don't just guess if you don't know. Again, the reason that I picked up stuff like this is because I've sold stuff like this before. So I know that this is an easy $50 sale, but there are certain things that you may think like, oh, cause it's a Nike brand, it'll sell for a lot of money. And then right. you look it up and it's like a $19 shoe. Right. You don't want to pay $10 to sell something for 19 yeah, bucks. Like, like these, just like these, you know, you yeah. see Nike in that, I'm like, yo, those look like the fly knits almost, but they're not. They're the four, I think they're the 4.0s. Yeah, they're the free run 4.0s, um, which is uh, way different. I, yeah, I would never pick these up if it didn't have the live strong, but if it, since it does, I think I'd pick these up for sure. So, all right guys, well let us know your thoughts on the haul. 
that is uh, within basically like an hour's picking time. I went to that thrift store and the flea market and picked up scraps right as everybody was closing up their booth. So he was scrapping out there. Listen, yeah. get out there early. We went to bed late. <laughs> we saw a Spider-Man movie, but I was editing a video till three in the morning. I was supposed to meet up with Dalton at seven. We both slept in through our alarms and I decided to hit the flea market. Still came out with some good stuff, but I probably could have got more if I would have woke up early. Make sure you guys are being disciplined in your business. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on this video. Comment down below if you would have picked or passed at least the majority of my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I got a video coming out every single day this every month day. up until Christmas. Happy Vlogmas, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace, Peace buddy! <laughs> nice.